sir before yeah. completing uh, i just want to thank sukanya ma'am for this i can remember guys she, madam was sneezing and she was having fever and completely i can remember that day ma'am and also i can remember and she took almost one one and a half hour call with the same health health situation condition okay i was really grateful for that uh, madam thank you so much for helping me out Hi. and and you know madam you remember that funny situation where you have uh, asked me to message by uh, 2 o'clock yes. i have messaged her i have called her in the at uh, 2 am at 2 am i have called <laughs> and i really want to thank sajal sir uh, and sukanya ma'am uh, unki guidance ne mujhe kaafi help kiya hai uh, sath hi sukanya ma'am ka sath jo ethics pe discussion tha usse ek naye dimensions mujhe pata chale ki kaise question ko approach kare but from fourth attempt i got associated with uh, you and sajal sir and uh, mm-hmm. yeah i mean i got good input from you i honestly but mm-hmm. again 2021 mein maine sukanya ma'am se again one to one sessions wagaira liye kaafi discussion wagaira kiya maine ethics ko leke अपने आ, कि क्या उनको क्या लगता है मैं कहाँ क्वेश्चन को अंडरस्टैंड करने में गलतियां कर रहा हूँ मे बी मैं क्वेश्चन के कुछ कीवर्ड्स वगैरह कहाँ मिस कर रहा हूँ कहाँ एग्जांपल्स वगैरह डाले जा सकते हैं तो उनसे मैंने काफी इंटेंसिव डिस्कशन किया था इस बार एथिक्स को लेके एंड दिस टाइम आई गॉट वन वन सेवन मार्क्स तो मैं कहूँगा काफी हेल्पफुल रहा था Hi guys, this is Sukanya Rana and I'm the ethics faculty at Civil Daily. So, इस साल के result में one of the key uh, noticing factor is कि unless and until you're not getting above 110 marks in ethics, scoring and getting through the UPSC list can become very very difficult. So, uh, you know, ethics is something which uh, consistently has been bringing a lot of marks. for the toppers to get into the list and is saal bhi aapne dekha hoga 140 tak marks aaye hain kafi logo ke 120 mein bhi rahe hain there were few 130s also so you know making that edge and you know gs3 this time took a dip so uh, ethics is becoming one of the most important factor in which you can get marks and secure you know uh, if if not the uh, determining marks for the uh, cut off list but at least a comfortable balance in your gs paper so uh, even personally is bari hamare kafi sare students mere kafi sare students ke uh, they sailed through the pretty good marks in gs4 also like i've had a student uh, who scored 140 uh, 124 marks then again pavan all india rank 22 he's got um, 121 marks uh, aditya one uh 33 marks who's got uh, all india rank 49 so yeah we've got overall a good support from you know our students who have worked really really hard and we got one of our best result this year and uh, again in this video i'll be actually showing you some of the copies of these toppers um and kyunki dekho abhi main season start ho gaya hai and plus a lot of people who are writing mains to say uh i've come across many newcomers a lot of people who are appearing for the first and the second time they are writing the papers so i think these test copies of showing the toppers what they do right is something will be a guiding tool for the student to understand you know what is needed from their copies and also if you are somebody who's uh, going ahead and writing their paper in 2024 it will be a very good tool through which you can understand ki what are the things that topper do and they get marks that you are missing in your answer writing theek okay? hai so let's get started with the first copy my student all india rank 22 pavan datta we look at his ethics copy and see what things he is doing right in his paper So guys, here is the copy of Pavan Datta, and uh, we look at some of the things that actually worked for him in the paper and helped him to get 120 plus marks in GS4. So uh, this is the first answer he's written. So one of the first thing I think anybody will notice in his answer is uh, a very spick and span kind of a presentation. I can see a proper introduction. Okay, he's properly underlined his examples. Then headings he's created that comes under boxes. Um, any kind of example or important thing he's written and he's underlined it. I can see all the headings, the numbers, the pointers. So uh, yes, presentation wise, the paper. Um, 
is very nice and obviously see uh, if you have got good content and you add on a good presentation in, in it so your marks does improve a lot right so that is the number one thing so let's look at the question here first so the question is morality is more important than laws because laws depend on morality do you agree highlight the importance of laws in establishing moral morality so let's see how he has done the question and then we can talk about how um, you know this question can be improved upon also so um, in the introduction what he's done is he's defined laws and morality and uh, a more specific stress on the idea of morality and then he's given an example right so i think a good start to this question because there were two major themes morality and laws so defining them and understanding what they are is something uh, which is a good way to start your introduction other than that you know you've got other couple of formats also like there is this current affair approach which you can apply in the introduction then there is this thinker approach you can apply but i think in this question uh, the definition and the example approach was the best to suit in this answer then what he's done is he's divided the question into two parts in the first part he's talking about how morality is important than laws because laws depend upon the morality so he's explaining the statement that is given here okay so he's making basically picking up the statement and explaining it so he's got couple of points here like he talks about kautilya how dharma is like uh, the basis of forming any kind of morality you know linking the idea of morality and laws there then he talks about how uh, multiple laws are actually dependent upon morality also like drunk and drive prevention act he talks about dowry then the other aspect he talks about is how sometimes laws gain more importance okay as compared to establishing morality right uh, so again what he is doing is number one he is explaining how morality is more important uh, than laws then also he talks about how laws are equally important to establish morality so he's kind of done two way analysis of this particular statement which is a very good approach because you are dealing with it in the complete essence right and then he talks about the advantages when laws are more you know uh, advantages when laws are more uh, uh, more than uh, morality he talks about that and then he comes out with a proper conclusion right and uh, right so uh, basically this advantages is um, you know he's tackling this portion highlight the importance of laws in establishing morality okay so uh, one thing which is very very good at this answer is i like the introduction okay it's very crisp i can see the in, uh, example over there so that's a very good introduction second thing is i like the way he's divided the question like the um, amount of aspects that had to be covered in this question they are all here okay uh, third thing i like is again the presentation how you know headings and there's a proper flow in the question so that is also so one thing i like fourth thing i like that i could see a lot of examples and applications in the question like i could see laws name i could see untouchability unique laws so a lot of different dimensions and examples were covered here uh, again uh, so overall i would consider this a very good question take okay, what else we can do in this question now guys um, mm, one thing that i would have wanted uh, you know uh, in this paper is the way forward should have been a bit more uh, you know advanced in the sense that it should have some more value addition attached to it right so we again we have multiple ways through which we can bring about our conclusion so way forward is one approach where you talk about what things can be done so like in this question you can talk about how morality and laws can be brought together so that they can work in harmony with each other right so again you know if you talk about civil services we've got code of ethics so that is where laws and morality comes together so uh, the idea is that a lot of laws when they are being created we should have certain kind of um, you know members contributing from the ethical aspect on morality aspect also in the law making process so that is also one way through which they can be brought together second approach <clears throat> 
अगेन टू एंड द आंसर वुड बी इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ करंट अफेयर लिंकेजेस ठीक है दैट इज ऑल्सो अ सेकेंड अप्रोच वेयर वी कैन एंड आर कंक्लूजन थर्ड अप्रोच इज ऑलवेज द कोर्ट्स द थिंकर्स द कनेक्शन विद दर थ्योरीज राइट सो दीज आर मल्टीपल अप्रोच नाउ अगेन गाइज दीज मल्टीपल फ्रेमवर्क विल डिपेंड अपॉन वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज इट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस क्वेश्चन द डेफिनेशन इन द इंट्रोडक्शन वॉज अ गुड फ्रेमवर्क टू फॉलो एंड इन द कंक्लूजन आई थिंक the way forward where we could have talked about various steps through which laws and morality can be brought together is a good way to go ahead with respect to creating morality and laws in a balanced approach right so you basically have to pick and choose the frameworks and you need to understand what frameworks are working behind so that you can customize those framework according to question that is there right uh okay then again in the body i think body one thing i told you he's covered all the major aspects so in the body you had to number one talk about how morality is important than laws because law basically you know uh, depends upon morality so how laws uh how morality becomes the basis of laws is the first thing that you need to cover and since the question says do you agree so you had to give me the other side also and then take the final take and obviously the final take is going to be a balanced approach that we need bo- need both of them to work together and that co- what comes in the conclusion right so second part is also going to talk about how laws are also equally important and they help to establish morality like he is done ठीक है एंड ऑब्वियसली देर इज दिस थर्ड पार्ट वेर इट टॉक्स अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ लॉज इन इस्टेब्लिशिंग मोरालिटी सो हाउ लॉज कैन इस्टेब्लिश मोरालिटी इज द थर्ड पार्ट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट अगेन द सेकेंड पार्ट एंड द थर्ड पार्ट माइट हैव सर्टन एरियाज विच कुड कम कॉमन सो वॉट यू कैन डू हियर इज इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वेर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ लॉज फ्रॉम द बेसिस ऑफ यू नो मोरलिटी यू कैन गिव मी एग्जाम्पल द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट एंड हाउ इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट लॉज कैन इस्टेब्लिश मोरलिटी यू कैन गिव मी द प्रोसेस हाउ लॉज आर डूइंग इट सो दैट वेज इट विल क्रिएट दैट काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंस ठीक है अदर देन दैट आई थिंक येस only i think this advantages parts is something that i would have wanted him to dwell a bit more other than that i think um, the coverage from the other two angles are pretty straightforward and very good theek okay? hai so again um, see looking at a topo copies and analyzing it helps you to understand you know what worked for them obviously nobody can copy uh, you know the same answer writing in their answers and also uh, you know we had a session with pavan also and he himself had said that he had taken a lot of review on this particular paper and then later on he had improved a lot because it was uh, you know when he had written this paper there was one month gap still left for mains so he had again collected a lot of review and held went on to improve upon this standard of paper also so uh, yes the idea is um, there are certain good things about every topper copies the best way is to analyze those things and start incorporating in the paper theek okay? hai and i personally feel, believe you know every person who's writing an ethics paper is have you know kind of reflects their own personality their own individuality in the writing of the answers and that is why you know whenever we have uh, one on one calls with our uh, students that is what we f- you know focus upon it's not the model answers that we are discussing but it's the approach through which we you know try to get the answers out of the students because again um, see the amount of dimensions that you can cover like when you're talking about morality one angle was um, you know international treaty when he talks about but again when you talk about morality from international angles there can be multiple angles like you can talk about the wars okay you can talk about the climate change uniclos again is water related so morality and laws works in multiple fa- ways right for example slave trade is something that you can show how you know laws can also be compromising at some point of time rowl attack these kind of acts you can tell me ki ha kaise there were limitations again they were not there in the answers but that does not mean that his answer becomes something bad so again it's all individuality that we are trying to test here not giving you a single framework where you know j- you just copy paste and write it so develop that art of writing get a mentor get you know your calls done understand the process and then build up your own vocabulary i think that is one of the most important thing 
that you need to understand from this top of copy and uh, so guys stay tuned because uh, if you if you like such videos we can get some other topper copies also and we can get some other uh, questions from these topper copies also and discuss you or uh, discuss these questions with you so that you understand what is required and what is not required in ethics paper so uh, thank you so much and uh, all the best for your uh, you know mains if you are attempting and if you need any help you can just simply reach out to us we've got uh, one on one mentorship on both mains and ethics program and i am sure like our toppers like pavan you will also get a lot of benefit from our test series thank you so much